Okay, it's um, 4.30 p.m. on Tuesday, June 30th, and this is the regular meeting of the East Long Meadow Board of Assessors. Um, we have LCAT recording the meeting, and we have a recording device for our, for our minutes. Uh, no one else is recording the meeting. Uh, the first thing on the agenda is to review the open and executive session from the minutes of the meeting of June 9th, 2015, and that includes a joint meeting with the Charter Review Commission. Mr. Chairman, I have reviewed both the open and executive minutes as well as the minutes from the joint meeting with the Charter Review Committee. Found all three of them to be in order as to content and pres presentation, and I move that they be accepted as submitted. Second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, the next thing we have is to review and sign the end of month uh, motor vehicle excise report in the amount of $6,740.34. Anything unusual about this one or? Nope. New, this is mainly the new cars? That's mainly the cars that people got rid of because they bought new cars. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of, yeah, you have to abate those. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have to review and sign the following motor vehicle trailer excise recommitment warrants. We got one from, one from 1996 in the, um, 1995 rather, in the amount of about $26. Computer at the registry never forgets. Another one from 2004 in the amount of $35. We have another 2004 for $47.50. Now we have to review and sign the 2015 Motor Vehicle Excise Section 5 Commitment Warrant in the amount of $6,756.25. Um, now we have the supplemental and CPA warrants associated with the supplemental tax, the uh, fiscal year 15 supplemental real estate tax in the amount of uh, $7,182.96 with a six, about a $68 CPA surcharge. Is the second page in this thing uh, the CPA surcharge? Yes, it is. Second, and we have a second one on the same general subject for three hundred and forty three dollars yep. plus CPA. Two pages, ma'am. Now we have the fiscal year 16 preliminary personal property warrant in the amount of 481,550,000 approximately. This is with the, for the uh, commercial, this is personal property associated with businesses. Mm -hmm. Real estate warrant this is the bigger one. It's it's uh, eighteen million sixty-five thousand one hundred fifty-eight thirteen. 
That must be associated with the bill I got in the mail over the weekend. It was. <laughs> Don't pay it. No, that, will, that one will be paid. Maybe a tax resister. <laughs> And then we have uh, the CPA uh, surcharge warrant, which goes with that other bill, that other warrant. The CPA is getting about 120000 from the recent real estate tax bills. A notice to account. So we have a notice to accountant for the month of June, which is for to, uh, formal coordination between the two departments. And then we've got, then we go right now to reviewing the, the, the fiscal year 16 pipeline valuation new growth associated. The, the, the DOR does these valuations for the pipelines all over the state. That's correct. And I believe we have one for Tennessee gas in the 16 in the 16 million range. Uh, in the six million, six million range. range. Yes. And for valuation, and there's a small amount of new growth that goes with that. Correct. And the board has up until June, uh, July 15th, if they wanted to appeal um, any of these values, but it's. We kind of rely on the state to yeah, use their experts to put the valuations together on this type of personal property. They've got the appraisal team to right. analyze what these companies submit. Mm -hmm. so. so it's up about 100000 from last year, an overall value. Um, the new growth is only 28000 yeah. Seems like all of the utility companies and <coughs> telephone companies, the growth has been very small this year. Yeah. Hmm. Well, at some point, um, we should get construction work in progress from some of the utilities. Mm -hmm. I noticed I got a, uh, I shouldn't say I got, that some are amending, uh, the telephone companies are sending in amended yes. forms of list. Yeah. At, I, right at the end of the fiscal year when so uh, I did receive just this week two amended ones and we're still waiting for two of our electric companies who promised our information as of June 1st and then when I followed up with them like the week after June 1st they said June 30th and here it is June 30th we still do not have it so that's getting a little did mm. we agree to an extension for those folks um, they we didn't agree to an extension they just told us this is how much their value is they were unable to determine their growth due to the way that the Department of Revenue keeps changing certain uh, appraisal practices yeah. so I will be following up again tomorrow if I do not receive okay because they, in response to the Department of Revenue, they are changing their accounting practices. So. <laughs> yep. And I bet they are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we'll have to wait for it. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Now, one thing, on the, in all the years I've been on the Board of Assessors, there's a, the, the, very, the DOR is very formal with omitted and revised assessment reports. And we did not have anything to report for fiscal 15. I included it in the agenda, but we had no omitted or revised, so yeah. we were right on track. Uh, they're going to stipulate uh, from next year going forward that r whether we have omitted and revised or not, we have to submit a report mm -hmm. because that flows in to the Should growth be. report. Uh, yeah. So they're doing a little bit more. Um, due diligence on it. Mm -hmm. well, we, we occasionally get a very difficult situation which involved from an omitted assessment, but we didn't get any this year. Nope. Okay, the building report. More solar. Now then we have to review the, the building permit report, mm -hmm. which goes up about a page and a half. 
and on it there is one parcel that two new commercial buildings are going on which you may have seen um, right here on North Main Street a new condo and two new homes so there's a total of five new buildings which brings us to 11 year to date and there are a few solar homes or commercial buildings to date okay. and there are a few solar we have 10 solar bringing us to 45 solar projects to date. <clears throat> I did learn down at the um, conference that two towns have gone to the appellate tax board on solar valuations, uh, Westboro and Swansea, and the ATB determined both to be tax exempt However, Swansea is still in a period they're waiting for the findings of fact, and they once they get that, they'll make a decision on whether they go to further appeal or not. But I believe the assessor's organization is going to start drafting some legislation on solar at, because right now it's got the 20-year exemption. Mm -hmm. And unless there's like photovoltaic fields going up where you can you're you're allowed to draft a pilot agreement so it's going to be you probably know more about this than i will you're on the legislative yes. committee yes <laughs> but it looks like the, the the one that's on the roof that the guy the homeowner owns is still is, it will be tax exempt for an in for a long period it's on the roof or on the lawn on the roof on the roof yes for a homeowner so it's on the roof and the homeowner owns it it, it, that, that's not impacted by this. No. <coughs> okay, we have the LA3 sales report. This is the official report to go to the DOR records of what of, of the sales which occurred in town during the previous month. You will note they are all over the place. Well, they sure are. Yeah. I have the second one down. I could not find it on the MLS, so private sale. That's what I had to assume. Um, Next one on that street's a private sale too, but as in, it'll be uh, June. The one that's got the 1.11 ratio. No. The first one doesn't have a ratio. Second one down, she said. Is oh, private okay. Sale. Yeah. The one that's a 1.3. Um, it actually would have been, it was a good sale, but they've already put the foundation in, so we need to have that coded out because now that they've already done an improvement to the property, uh -huh. uh, it was a perfect vacant land sale. Okay. Uh, the one on the 83%, I know it was on MLS for three months at an extremely high amount, and then they sold it privately. I'm shocked what they got for it. It's a two bedroom, one you bath. See, I told you we'll see a lot more in uh, June, so get ready for some point eights all over. Yeah. So uh, then we went up, you know, we have the 1.12, 1.13, and then we dropped down yeah. to 88. That's a brand new home on a nice, street and it's just tucked onto a lot. I was shocked at the price that that one sold for. Do we have it at full assessment or is it uh -huh. still under construction? Full assessment. Oh my. That's so, so there. Marty, do you think this is a oh, yeah, short term short term thing because of because of the fear of interest rates going up or is it is it a little bit of that but you're going to see point eights all over for June so get ready. Really? Yeah. Everything's selling way above assessment. If there's such Multiple a offers on homes. Um, there's such a backlog for a need for housing. Is that it, you think, or just wanting to move No, it's a short of a listing, but uh, it's popularity, <coughs> too. Yeah. The .82 is a complete remodel further down. Okay. You might have saw that on MLS. And we actually visited the property. Yeah. And that new assessment, based on our current cost tables, is what the house assessed out at. It and looks like we need some adjustments. Yeah. 
So when we get to when we get to the first quarter of next year, we're going to have to take account of it. We're going to take account of this data since setting next year's values. Well, yes. I th I, think I think even when we are looking before at before we finalize for this year, for this year, we can yeah. actually we don't have to only look back in time. Uh, you know, the full year we can take the last six months. We can take like um, six months from one year and six yeah. months from the end of last year. If we need to do that. Yeah. And while we're on that subject, I will mention that our consultant uh, will be here to do the interim adjustment and all of the finished work the week of July 27th. July 27th. He plans to be here for the week. And also, just so you are aware, our personal property will be being completed between July 6th and July 24th, not the 250 accounts that we have a warrant article for, right. but for just getting us all set for fiscal 16. Okay. And once we finalize fiscal 16, they'll start on revisiting? We can or start... waiting for the forms of list from January of um, 2016. We don't get a lot of forms of lists, so these are going to actually go out and recollect. Okay. We have um, 200 and approximately 250. We need to get appointments <laughs> or go out cold and have them make an appointment, but that's okay. what our warrant article was for. But right now, when we are finishing up, we just need all of our new personal property accounts that we've received since last year. Now the next thing on the agenda is this DOR uh, LA3 macros workshop. The, the, uh, preparing the LA3 reports can be quite a bit of work and it involves constant review and modification as we find out more about each of the sales. And uh, that is going to be offered by our Hamden Hampshire Assessing Association. It's going to be held uh, July 15th. Uh, South Hadley has offered to host um, the seminar for the Hamden, Hampshire County, um, to teach us all about the LA3 macros. These are the macros is when we submit our um, sales for the year. They have a special program that helps them to zone in on any problem areas. So we have now been given these macros and we're now going to be able to troubleshoot our own before they even get to DOR. Is anyone Basically. going to this workshop? I am. Oh, and I am. I'm going to be teaching it, so I have to yeah. be there. <laughs> I was going to say, she was, she, uh, I don't know, she was handpicked by the Bureau of Local Assessment. She and the, one of the Springfield assessors, and they will be team teaching the course. So good for you, Diane. They recognize well, the, bo the board is very pleased that you're, you're so well involved with the Assessors Association mm -hmm. at this time. So, and I am going to be signing Chris up for that course you said also, right? The LA3 macros? Yes. 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 Yep. Nice thing is it's a free course, so it's not costing any municipality any money, and then they have offered if anyone wanted to go out on their own dime after, you can, they would reserve a table at a local restaurant and, you know, have lunch before you head back. So we will go from there. That's it for our open um, planning board. We have we have a, we have yeah. four decisions from the planning board. Mm -hmm. Is is there anything that is there anything in there that uh, impacts this office? We have a new lot. Yes. Oh, the new lot. Yeah. That, oh, that's 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 going to be have, the hot issue this year. We have two new businesses, and actually. We really don't have two new businesses. One is an existing business that is under new ownership and they've changed the names. So it's the same business in the same place. Uh, another investment broker. Opening an office. Um, a Summers Road property is splitting their land into two lots, two buildable lots. and. Uh, some new construction on Spruce Street is also requesting and received approval from the planning board to have a mezzanine with approximately 200 square feet additional. So. Well, 
that will be a valuation issue. So we've already been out to, because today is the last day of the fiscal year, we have uh -huh. been out and visited all properties that have any type of um, new construction building permits on it to pick up for, because today is the last day that we yes. can pick up. So I have been out in the field quite a bit, uh, and I think we've got everything up to date. Good for you. Well, that's excellent. Good job. Thank you. Right. And at this point, um, we've closed the open session, and we need to go into executive session to discuss a motor vehicle excise abatement, uh, a, a, value, a valuation issue, and an, and an exemption application. Uh, these have to be handled in executive session. Um, now I'm going to make a motion to... Uh, and we won't be returning. We won't be returning to open session. Um, we need this needs a roll call. This vote needs a motion. Second that. Second. Uh, I made them. Okay, I moved here. that. And this needs a roll call vote. Mrs. Salnier? Yes. Mr. Grudgeon? Yes. Mr. Johnson? Yes. 